Hey friends, I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. We had so many strong, super strong Eagles perform the five minute burpee challenge, which I know was super, super tough, but you did it and it's awesome. So I'm super proud of you. Uh, shout out to my man Jasper, who I got to see uh, do his burpees. They look fantastic. So keep that up. Um, also, the basketball challenge um, was so incredible. I had so many teachers and I had so many students and some of my friends do the challenge. I think what I was most impressed with was actually the different ways that you guys made it your own at your house, meaning you used all sorts of equipment. I mean, I personally used a laundry basket and a t-shirt. I had a couple of friends do the same thing. Um, I had, I saw people do um, some pots and pans. Um, some people used a yarn ball that they had at their house. Um, I thought some of my friends, shout out to my man, Hewin. Hewin uh, got to go outside a little bit. Uh, I saw a couple other people get to go outside, so hats off to them. Uh, super impressed. I even saw a couple NBA basketball players kind of steal our idea, so um, keep up the good work. Um, before I get to this week's fitness challenge, um, I do want to say happy birthday to one of my grown-up personal friends. Uh, happy birthday to Hibby. Um, he watches our, our channel and our uh, videos, so Happy birthday, my dude. Um, Miss Ingrid in the front office. I know you guys remember Miss Ingrid. Um, hey, Miss Ingrid. She actually sent me a list of everybody's birthdays, and I'm trying to gonna try and say happy birthday to a couple people. Um, not gonna say their names because we have to practice good internet safety. But um, I know a couple of my friends had a birth or had a birthday this past weekend. So if you did, happy birthday! And I know that two of my friends have a bir uh, birthday today. So a special happy birthday to them, and I'll try to remember to keep saying happy birthday. Um, I hope it was amazing, and I hope it was as amazing as you are. Um, yeah, and I miss you guys. Um, so, back to the fitness. Um, you guys absolutely rock the burpee challenge. So, I'm going to give a little bit of a change this week, and we're going to do something different every day. Um, this week's challenge is actually called the Alphabet Workout Challenge. Um, and this challenge is pretty simple. I'm gonna assign a different word or phrase throughout the week, one on Monday, today, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, and one on Friday. Um, and using this alphabet sheet, you're gonna complete each of the exercises based on each letter that's in that word. So one movement that might be new to you is the arm dips. I'll talk to you about that in a few minutes. I'm, actu I'm actually gonna demonstrate it for you but all of the other movements should be familiar to you. If not, that's perfectly okay. I'm actually gonna do Monday's alphabet workout at the end of this video, okay? One thing I did forget to mention is that don't worry about screenshotting or trying to write all this information down. I'm gonna actually distribute it on Google uh, Classroom, uh, Class Dojo. Um, I'm gonna email all of your teachers so they'll have a copy and they'll put it in, uh, in your document. Um, so yeah, do not stress about that. I'll send it to you, okay? So let's quickly talk about the arm dips. Um, I know that's a new exercise that some of us haven't done. All you need is a chair or a stool or something that's not gonna move around. You can actually do it on the edge of your couch or on the kitchen or next to the kitchen counter, but something that doesn't move. If you've got a chair that rolls around, you don't really want that because you could really hurt yourself, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is you're going to have your chair or stool set up, you're gonna put face away from the stool, and you're actually gonna put your hands with your fingers facing forward on the stool, just like this. Then you're going to walk your feet out a couple steps. So your arms are behind you, your feet are in front of you, and you're gonna be facing forward. Then you are going to lower yourself down, bending your arms, so your arms look like an upside down L, or a 90 degree angle. Then pushing using your arms and your triceps, you're going to push straight up and lock your elbows out. Then back down to 90 degrees and then lock your elbows out. So Monday's, today's alphabet workout word is John Adams, which means we have to do 10 different total exercise rounds, uh, starting with J, which is five arm dips, okay? So John Adams, Right, so each word or each letter is going to have a different exercise. So for J, we're gonna do five arm dips. Then O, we're gonna do 10 squats. 
H, we're going to do five push-ups. N, we're going to do 10 sit-ups. Then back to A, we're going to do five burpees. D, we're going to do 10 curl-ups or sit-ups. A, we're going to do five burpees. M, we're going to do five arm dips. And then S, we're going to finish out with 20 jumping jacks. If you're not sure what an exercise looks like, um, I know we just went over arm dips, um, but sometimes it can be confusing. I'm actually about to go do the workout. So if you want to follow along with me, that's awesome. And I love it. Um, I'm actually going to post um, on Twitter and in your class dojos or your Google classrooms, uh, the word of the day. So tomorrow we'll have a new word and you'll do the same exact same thing. So if you're, um, if the word is whatever your teacher's name is, like Miss Tarquinio, you would spell out MRS Tarquinio. I'm not going to mess up her last name. Um, and you're going to do each of those exercises. Okay. Each exercise per letter. Um, the goal is to finish the workout word with as little rest as possible. And I know that's going to be tough. Sometimes I might ask you to do a whole sentence. I might ask you to do a whole tiny little phrase, um, but try and rest as little as possible. Okay. So like I said, I'm about to go do this workout. Um, let me know how you do. Uh, you can tweet me, you can email me. Uh, I'll talk to some of you guys in your Google classrooms this week. I'm super excited to see you. Um, I miss you all. Let me know how you do. Um, good luck.